Imagine an electric car by 2026, made for the masses, costing only $13,000 and with cutting-edge technology under the hood. It sounds like science fiction, but that's exactly what Elon Musk is trying to bring to life with the highly anticipated Tesla Model 2. But before putting this compact car on the streets worldwide, Musk needs to make one of the most strategic decisions of the decade. Which battery will power this new affordable dream? There's no room for error. After all, it's not just a matter of range or charging speed. It's a delicate equation between safety, cost, and performance. And at the heart of this dilemma are two bold and promising candidates, aluminum ion and sodium ion batteries. It might seem like a technical detail, but when it comes to electric cars, the battery is the heart of everything. A single car like the Model 2 must contain more than 7,000 small energy cells working in harmony. And just one of them collapsing due to overheating can trigger an uncontrollable fire in less than 10 seconds. Can you imagine what it would be like to put millions of these cars on the road, all with this fragility? Elon knows he needs something safer and faster. That's why these new technologies are gaining priority in Tesla's labs. The search for a battery that not only works well, but is immune to chaos. Lithium batteries, however revolutionary they may have been, are beginning to show their limitations by 2026. Fires, premature degradation, and high costs have become visible obstacles in the race for electric mobility. And now that Tesla wants to scale its production to billions of cells per year, this model no longer delivers the necessary efficiency. So the question arises, is it possible to replace lithium without losing everything it offers? The alternatives are there, but each comes with its own risks and promises. Elon Musk needs to look beyond the glitz of innovation and see which one is actually viable for the immediate present. Aluminum ions appear as a true potential superstar. Fast, cheap, and virtually fireproof, they seem to have come straight out of a futuristic dream. Sodium ions, on the other hand, more contained, less energy-dense but extremely stable, are attracting attention for already being in production in countries like China and Germany. Elon is torn. On one side, the audacity of aluminum, which is still being refined. On the other, the reliability of sodium, already ready for use. It's almost like choosing between an experimental rocket and a tested bullet train. Both work, but only one is ready to leave the station now. And here's a factor that few people consider. The cost of scale. It's one thing to assemble a hundred cars with a new battery in a lab. It's quite another to produce millions of reliable, consistent, and safe units every quarter. The Model 2 needs to be affordable, and that requires a robust supply chain, cheap raw materials, and industrial processes that don't rely on magic or nanotechnology. Elon doesn't just want a good car, he wants an electric car for everyone. And batteries that explode or are too expensive simply have no place in that plan. The challenge, therefore, is not just choosing the most advanced chemistry. It's finding the balance between what is new and exciting and what actually works outside the laboratories. Because, by 2026, the public is no longer impressed by empty promises. Consumers want fast charging, long trips, low prices, and not to be burned alive in a car accident. It seems like a basic requirement, but in practice, few battery systems can deliver all of that at the same time. And that's the crux of the matter. Which of the new chemistries can meet this three-pronged goal? The aluminum ion battery enters this story as that mysterious character no one expected, but who suddenly emerges with abilities that leave everyone curious. It promises something that seems too much, even by Tesla's audacious standards. A full recharge in 60 seconds, 60. Not half an hour, not 10 minutes, not some disguised fast charging. It's literally the time it takes to tie your shoelaces. For many people, this sounds so absurd that it seems like false advertising, but it's not. Stanford researchers have actually demonstrated this feat. And Elon Musk, of course, became obsessed with the idea. After all, 
if there's a technology capable of eliminating lines at superchargers, it will certainly have his attention. But aluminum ion batteries aren't just impressive for their speed. They're also incredibly stable when it comes to temperature, something any electric car manufacturer knows is vital. While lithium batteries start to enter a danger zone between 150 tritrars and 200 tritrars C, aluminum ion batteries operate smoothly even above that, almost as if immune to thermal panic. This is thanks to their molten salt electrolyte, a liquid similar to a thick saline solution, which doesn't catch fire even when punctured. In a world where videos of electric cars burning go viral in seconds, this simple characteristic makes aluminum ions seem like the superhero of batteries. Another point that excites Elon is the cost. Aluminum costs between use $2,000 per ton, while lithium reaches use $13,000. That difference is striking. On a global scale, saving thousands of dollars per ton represents billions in savings for Tesla. And since the Model 2 is expected to be the company's cheapest car, Every penny saved becomes ammunition to compete head-to-head -head with BYD, Toyota, and any other brand trying to compete in the popular electric vehicle segment. It's no exaggeration to say that aluminum ion chemistry could aggressively drive down EV prices. However, like all promising technologies, it also has its drawbacks, and some are quite complicated. Despite being heat-resistant, Aluminum ion is extremely sensitive to moisture. Any minimal water infiltration causes the electrolyte to react, producing hydrogen and traces of hydrogen chloride. Nothing explosive, but enough to require completely sealed modules and a rigorous protection system. For cars that will be driven in the rain, cross floods, and face unpredictable environments, this cannot be ignored. Elon knows that a brilliant battery in the lab can become a huge headache in real life. Despite this sensitivity, the mechanical performance of aluminum ions is impressive. In drilling tests, researchers observed that the cells held back 90% of its voltage even after being pierced by a steel rod. No smoke, no flames, no dramatic explosions. Meanwhile, lithium cells exploded almost instantly. For a compact car like the Model 2, which will likely circulate in cities with heavy traffic, potholes, low-speed collisions, and even vandalism, this resistance is a significant selling point. Musk loves technologies that withstand the real world without fuss. Ultra-fast charging also raises another question. How does it not destroy the battery? Normally, the faster a cell is charged, the greater the internal stress and the greater the risk of degradation. But with aluminum ion, the logic is different. Aluminum can release three electrons per atom, while lithium releases only one. This creates a much greater energy flow with less chemical effort, reducing wear. In theory, this battery could last thousands of cycles longer than Tesla's current batteries. Elon knows that durability counts, especially when the car is designed for millions of units. While aluminum ion batteries are still searching for a way to leave the labs and enter production lines, sodium ion batteries are already on track, and the train is already moving. Elon Musk knows this. In 2026, it's not enough to be innovative. You need to be ready to scale. And in this respect, sodium ion batteries are gaining ground. Companies like BYD, Ferrisys, and CL are already producing sodium cells on a large scale, installing them in small electric vehicles and energy storage systems. This isn't theory. It's practice happening right now in China and Europe. This puts sodium ion in a strategic position to become the heart of the Tesla Model 2. And it's not just in terms of production that sodium ion shines. It's incredibly cheap. To give you an idea, while lithium costs around $13,000 per ton, sodium costs a mere $300. And since sodium can be extracted from common sea salt, the supply doesn't depend on complex mining or unstable regions of the planet. This reduces not only the cost, but also geopolitical and logistical risks. Something that, after years of pandemic and war, Elon Musk certainly takes very seriously. 
for a car that needs to cost $13,500, every penny saved on the battery can mean an extra upgrade or a sustainable profit. But does a cheap product necessarily mean something weak? The answer here is surprising. No. Even with a lower energy density, around $120 to $160 UIG, compared to $250 to $270 for lithium batteries, sodium ion delivers on its promises with enviable safety. It may not take the car as far as lithium, but it does so with much less chance of catching fire along the way. In stress tests, these batteries only began to show signs of thermal runaway around 292 de Surks, a temperature well above most real-world accidents. This makes sodium ion a true tank when it comes to safety. And it doesn't stop there. Even when punctured, exposed to fire, or overloaded, sodium ion cells tend to hold up like champions. They don't easily release oxygen, which is the main trigger for fires in EVs. And therefore, the risk of chain reaction is drastically reduced. In recent tests, even when subjected to an impact at 50 km per h, they released only localized heat without complete combustion. Elon is keeping an eye on this. A battery that can withstand the rigors of the road without becoming headline news for a fatal accident is a powerful ally in the mission to make the Model 2 the modern family car. Another point that draws attention is the behavior of sodium ions in humid environments or during floods. Yes, this type of situation happens, and much more often than you might imagine. Sodium cells do not react aggressively to water, at least in the first few hours of exposure. In immersion tests, it took about six hours for gas accumulation to begin. Of course, no battery likes to take a bath, but this tolerance can be the difference between local damage and a global recall. When Elon thinks about selling millions of cars around the world, including in tropical countries like Brazil, this type of resilience makes all the difference. Production is also favored by something that goes unnoticed by most, compatibility with existing manufacturing lines. Sodium batteries can be assembled with structures similar to those of lithium batteries, which reduces the time and cost of adapting factories like Giga Texas or Giga Berlin. It's like changing the filling but keeping the same sandwich. For Tesla, this is gold. After all, restructuring a production line from scratch costs billions and takes years. If Elon can incorporate sodium ion without reinventing the entire process, it accelerates the launch and facilitates scaling. The question seems simple. Which of these batteries explodes less? But when it comes to electric vehicles with thousands of cells compressed side by side, the answer requires more than a yes or no. It's necessary to look at the data, the extreme tests, and, above all, understand how each chemistry reacts in real-world situations, such as collisions, overloads, and even exposure to fire. And this is where aluminum ion batteries begin to stand out in a way that seems almost unbelievable. In tests conducted by safety institutes, even with a 200% overload, not a single aluminum ion cell exploded or caught fire. Zero. Not even smoke. This simply doesn't happen with lithium batteries, which often burst into flames in seconds. Sodium ion batteries also perform very well. Thank you. In tests conducted in 2025 with large 50 amp hour cells, sodium ion only began to react at temperatures above 292 degrees. That's almost the temperature of an incandescent exhaust pipe. And even when it began to react, only 22% of the cell actually combusted. Most impressively, the fire spread so slowly that other nearby cells didn't even heat up. This is a level of control that lithium batteries simply cannot achieve. And for popular cars, which will be in fleets, taxis, and crowded streets, this type of behavior is vital. When it comes to mechanical impact, aluminum ion batteries become almost like a tank. In a test conducted in 2025, researchers punctured the cells with a 5 mm steel rod. What happened? No smoke, no sparks, and more than 90% of the electrical charge was retained. 
This is almost unbelievable for those accustomed to traditional batteries. Meanwhile, a common lithium cell, when punctured, released superheated gas in less than two seconds, enough to start a chain reaction. But sodium wasn't far behind either. In tests, it released heated material, but in no case was there complete combustion. Now, when it comes to chemical risk, aluminum ion has a slight Achilles' heel. Despite being extremely heat-stable, it reacts with water. If a cell is damaged and comes into contact with moisture, it can release small amounts of hydrogen and hydrogen chloride. This isn't an immediate explosion risk, but it requires Tesla's modules to be completely sealed, something the company already does with its 4680 batteries. Even so, it's a point of concern. Sodium ion, on the other hand, shows a more tranquil behavior. During submersion tests, it only started forming bubbles after six hours of contact with water, which is excellent for flood or accident scenarios. Another crucial factor is the electrolyte, the internal liquid that conducts the ions. In lithium batteries, this electrolyte is usually flammable, with an ignition point between 25 Zeitraders and 30 Kratzestadietreng. That is, the temperature a car can reach when parked in the sun. It's no wonder that small internal short circuits are enough to start fires. Sodium ion batteries use propylene carbonate, which has an ignition point above 100 Gritzwerku. This reduces the risk of fire by 70%, according to laboratory tests. Aluminum ion batteries, on the other hand, use a molten salt electrolyte that doesn't even have a measurable ignition point. This is because the compound is stable even at high temperatures making it almost incombustible. In terms of overload resistance, aluminum ion stands out again. In a 2024 report published by the NRE, researchers subjected aluminum cells to twice their rated load. The result? No ignition. Lithium batteries, on the other hand, experienced five explosions in 10 identical tests. Sodium ion also passed overload tests unscathed maintaining its structure intact even when exposed to above-normal current for several minutes. This shows that both alternatives are dramatically safer than lithium, and each excels in different scenarios. And that's where the game starts to change. Because however incredible a technology may seem on paper, it only becomes real when it can be manufactured on a large scale, reliably, repeatably, and cheaply. And in this field, Sodium ion is shooting ahead. In 2026, while aluminum ion is still stuck in laboratory prototypes and feasibility studies, sodium has already become a product. Companies like CL, BYD, and Phoresis have pilot lines operating at full capacity, supplying compact cars and large-scale energy storage systems. What does this mean? That sodium ion is no longer a promise. It's a reality. Elon Musk knows all too well what it's like to try and scale up an innovative battery. Just remember the drama with the 4680 cells. The idea was to revolutionize everything, but mass production proved to be a logistical nightmare. That's why he now wants to avoid repeating the mistake. Sodium ion, unlike aluminum ion, has already passed the adaptation tests for industrial lines. It can be assembled with the same machinery used for lithium cells, which reduces retooling costs and accelerates time to market. For a car like the Model 2, which will be produced in the millions, this is a gigantic competitive advantage. And there's more. Sodium is abundant. It's literally everywhere, including in table salt. Its extraction and purification cost is negligible compared to lithium or aluminum. It is estimated that a ton of sodium costs around use $300, compared to use $2,000 for aluminum 